It's the deadliest mass shooting in modern United States history. I mean, you know, and we heard the gunshots go off. It, I think everybody thought they were fireworks at first. Police say he was armed with at least 10 rifles from that vantage point. You really don't understand the magnitude until you see the rows and tables of personal belongings. They're left behind as the people fled the venue. After each of these massacres, conversations about new gun regulations have been raised and then dropped. But today, the political winds may be shifting. gun restrictions are stringent enough. I think that we need to have more scrutiny about who is licensed, who is not, and so I think that that creates a lot of problems for us as a general population. I think that puts us at risk. As you can see, what happened in Las Vegas is something, you know, Las Vegas is a very uh, lax state in terms of its regulations about gun laws, and so I think that uh, uh, should change. Um, I feel that why should anyone just have a gun? Like, I feel that if you need to have, like, special training or the need to, then you're allowed to have it. Like, for example, the Army or the military or a cop, for example, but not just an amateur because there's lots of people, like, buying them just because they want them, just to have, be cool. And it's causing people's lives, and lives matter. Like, I think it's a right of a person to own a gun. But I do consider uh, things like machine guns unnecessary. I find complete and utter banning of a gun unconstitutional. But just to say you shouldn't be able to own a dangerous weapon such as a machine gun, uh, that, that I do not find unconstitutional. I think that we have the right under the Constitution of America to bear arms and protect ourselves. And under that clause there, you also have the right to legally hunt animals um, of game to provide food for your family. So I do believe in allowing United States citizens to own guns and pro gun. I am for uh, background checks and permitting is all well and good as long as it's not just additional permits just for the sake of having additional permits. If, if someone has to get additional permits for no apparent reason, if they already have their license to carry or license to own a firearm, um, additional permits isn't necessarily going to do you any good. I think they're too strict. I think they're taking away our Second Amendment right. Um, for, I, I think we should, the background checks are 10 days to get a gun. I mean, I think that's extensive enough. I mean, if we had to take another test, we had to take another test. In order to uh, even purchase a firearm, you have to uh, pass a uh, safety test. I mean, I have it right here. If you know how to operate a gun, I think you should be able, I think everybody should have one. Every citizen in America has a right to exercise their constitutional rights. They're not privileges, they're rights. You can regulate a privilege, you cannot regulate a right, and that's what the governments are doing in too many places, that they want to regulate a right. You can't regulate a right, the rights are written in our Constitution. They're not to be regulated. You can regulate a privilege, and a CCW permit is not really a privilege, it's a right. I think that uh, as a, our Second Amendment should be protected, but I think that there has to be reasonable safeguards to protect the population. So um, I think those laws need to be more, more stringent. I'm a Vegas resident and I have to say that the Vegas shooting uh, was a horrible tragedy and I think that uh, more tragedies like that will happen because we don't have any enough safeguards. I think that if anybody, I mean if we were to have more states with the same, with similar laws, I think that we would have more mass shootings like that. So obviously the events uh, in Las Vegas and so on are very unfortunate and um, there quite possibly could have been oversight um, in legislation and so on. 
Um, however, I think at this point we don't know all the facts about that particular incident, so we can't necessarily draw registration to prevent such attacks in the future until we know a little bit more about exactly what happened. And I saw what happened and I literally was actually like in shock so I like stood on the bed and watched it and like it hurt my heart knowing that all those innocent people just like watching a concert, having the time of their life, being very um, tragic and it hurt. It was really sad and so tragic that that's why we, there should be more laws to help, like, to protect us because the laws that we have now don't seem to be helping us in any way because we're still having problems and a lot of, like, people losing their lives because of guns. The Las Vegas shooting, I think, was ultimately not preventable. If someone plans to do something that evil and horrible for such a long time, I don't think any amount of law will stop it. it I think really when it comes down to it, the best way we can uh, kind of shift away from these violent massacres and so on is uh, for people to not only support each other, but to support the law enforcement officers and everyone who works so hard to protect and to serve the community, to keep it all, um, to keep everyone safe. Well, most of those restrictive gun laws are basically here in the state of California. Uh, we're the most restrictive state in the United States when it comes to uh, the Second Amendment uh, and our constitutional rights. Uh, you cross the border into Nevada, Arizona, uh, Idaho, Oregon, um, the gun laws are much different. The highest crime rate in the nation are on the May issue states like California, Illinois, Massachusetts, New York, different places like that who have the most restrictive gun laws. So the Second Amendment really protects our rights of private citizens to protect ourselves against uh, the criminal element in our communities and against a tyrannical government. That's what it was there for. And uh, the places where it is exercised properly, the other states, um, they don't have a whole lot of crime rate compared to us. But here in California, they want to continue to restrict our gun rights. And gun control doesn't really work because it only affects the law-abiding citizen who doesn't need all these gun laws. And the criminals don't obey, don't obey the laws anyway. I've been in the investigation and law enforcement business most of my life. And I can tell you, criminals don't obey the law. That's why we have such crime. And when the law-abiding citizens are restricted from their ability, not their right, but their ability to protect themselves, then of course the crime rate goes up and we're more susceptible, susceptible to become victims of crime. Uh, that's the reason I don't believe in the gun laws. The California has been passing these anti-gun laws for the last 30 or 40 years and none of them work. None of them work. It only restricts the good guys uh, from being able to protect themselves. And like they've said, the only defense uh, against a bad guy is a, with a gun is a good guy with a gun. It's unfortunate that we live in that kind of a society, but that's the world and the way it is. Uh, for me, when I think of someone owning a gun, I think of it as used for either hunting or home defense. I don't really think of it as you need something of military quality like an AR-15. I think that's unnecessary and just a uh, gateway to violence. I think if you can get an AR-15, get one. I mean, the reason they're trying to ban them is because they considered assault weapons. Not a lot of people know that AR stands for Armor Light Rifle. The person who invented the AR, people say, oh, it's assault rifle. No, it's not. The way I look at it is, if you have guns, if you have, right, if someone comes in your house, what are you going to do? You're going to hit them with a baseball bat and they have a gun? No, you're, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's the way I look at it. So if we, if we have guns, if we want to set up our own army or militia, whatever the fuck that means, why not? That's our Second Amendment. Governor Brown's trying to take our Second Amendment rights away. Gun, uh, gun regulation, gun control laws uh, basically do just the opposite of what they're intended to do. The more restrictions that you put on law abiding citizens to protect themselves, the higher the crime rate's going to be. If there was like a vote, I would vote yes, like be more stricter. It'll, it'll be more helpful toward like the community. 
I think that they should be stricter and they should, there should be more laws. Changing the laws to become more reasonable in terms of background checks and uh, limitations as to who can purchase guns, I think that would be a benefit. A good place to kind of expand on is to increase like background checks and so on and not so much uh, the type of gun because when it comes right down to it, a gun is, is a tool which can be used to kill. Um, and as long as we don't have reason to believe that your intent is to kill, then there's not really any reason for you not to have a gun. Back in the day, you know, they had gun racks in the truck. They had guns in there during school, in high school. Whenever a fight broke out, no, not, not any single one of them pulled out a gun. I think militias are a good thing uh, in organizing their communities to protect themselves because we don't have enough military or law enforcement to protect our community. We just don't. I think um, Americans do have that right to, to, um, to bear arms. Go shoot a gun. I mean, get your own personal opinion on it. Don't. If you've never shot a gun before, don't say, oh, I'm anti-gun. I've had people at Buddy of Mines like, oh, I don't like guns. I have to shoot one, and now they're, they own guns. They, they love them. If you took away all the guns, all the guns, took away all the guns from the good guys and the bad guys, let's just say that there were no more guns. We had a way that we could eliminate them all, destroy every gun in America, except for, say, what the police have. But outside of that, nobody had them. The crime rate in this country will go straight through the roof because of the fact that the criminals will use whatever tools they have, clubs, knives, swords, whatever, to commit their crimes, because they're going to commit the crimes anyway. But how are you going to defend yourself against those people unless you're an expert and a martial arts expert and you know how to handle a club, a knife, a baseball bat, a tire iron better than they do? The only equalizer is a firearm and more firearms in the hands of law-abiding citizens, less crime. Proven fact, it's in the FBI records. Every year it comes out that way.